So whenever I'm using the uh, Procreate software on the iPad, I use a website called Pixabay. And I know this is probably all upside down for everybody, but I can't seem to manage to get my camera to flip around for everybody. Uh, so I apologize ahead of time. But Pixabay, as you can see right here, the uh, website, P-I-X-A-B-A-Y.com. It is a place for people to get copyright free uh, images and upload. As you can see, you can upload. Uh, let's see here. Right here's some of my media, just some stuff I've uploaded, a pattern I made. Uh, you can go to search, type in frog, we'll say. And go and you get all kinds of images of frogs you can get uh, they'll be in different formats depending on what it is but you can like favorite or whatever so what I do is I will favorite stuff that I want to make an image of. So as you can see here, I got some Grand Reapers, some cars, some horses, wolves. Uh, I think tonight we will make, try to make a scroll saw pattern out of just this rose. The background stuff we're not going to worry about even so we'll probably do a we'll call it an eight by eight but you can blow it up to any size you want so as you can see here fix a bay license free for commercial use no arbitration required so this is a good picture we can use it for whatever we want to use it for to make patterns uh, and then we can sell the pattern sell the work and you don't have to worry about no kind of infringement because whoever uploaded this picture said that the picture was their picture they own the rights to it and they give the rights to Pixabay for everybody to use copyright free uh, so here you can see there's a few different file sizes that you can pick from and these are all JPEGs on this one sometimes they'll be in uh, ping or SVG depending on what it is because other people uploads their drawings and they upload it in different things uh, So we got a nice crisp image to go off of I'm gonna go with the JPEG at the 2.9 Megabyte So I will click here You can view the image so you can see how clear and crisp the image actually is or you can just download it We're just gonna hit download we're going to download this image so it download it right here up in the bar, top bar it's showing download progress all right now it's fully downloaded so we will back up go out to procreate in procreate you can select your canvas uh, you can make custom size canvases and you can adjust the uh, we call it DBI uh, size and everything. So we're going to go to create an image. Did you see how I done that? Uh, the little box with the little plus in it. Click that to create an image. Now you can do it in pixels or in centimeters, millimeters, inches. We're going to go to inches, and we will do. Let's just do ten. By 10 we'll do 300 dbi it says we can make 25 layers which we'll only need like three maybe four layers to create a scroll scroll saw pattern so we'll hit create it brings that up 
now come over here to your wrench click click add and it will be in a file format so we will click the file all right there is our rows okay now what i'm gonna do there is i'm gonna click that so i'm gonna shrink the canvas now i just want that rows so what we will do is we will go to the image tool now so as you can see it only shows on the canvas so as soon as I release out of image movement the everything else will be cropped out so we'll click here now everything's cropped out now you can see the image is now the size of our canvas so I will click here this is your layers tab and I will add a new layer now you can draw on top or you can move the rows on top and drop the opacity and draw below it's your choice I like to draw in red because it usually contrasts any image that I'm using. Uh, now, I have made a couple custom brushes. Uh, I typically use this brush and double click on the brush and you can see all the specs on the brush and you can create any kind of brush you want. I got the streamline at 75. I got everything set up. Taper, there's no taper. Shape is a round shape. There is no green. There's no special rendering. There's no that's kind of just preset mixtures. There's no really anything special about it. Except for I have set the pressure size to zero. So whatever size I set my brush at is whatever size it writes at so basically it takes away all pressure sensitivity of the apple pen but i have another one smooth stencil that i have taper on shape and grain i have as not a circle and no grain because i just want solid lines now on dynamic, you can increase the size there. And as you can see here, I got the pressure as max. So now this one will write a thin line with no pressure. Or, so if you're trying to make nice tapered swooshes, like eyelashes or anything like that, that's what I use this one for. Or if I'm wanting to try to do like a stylized shadows around cars and things like that. Alright, so, but for the most part, I just use, I call it John's Eraser because I made it to use for erasing, but I've really found out it works good for actually doing the stencil work. So, just trying to pick out where I want to start my detail at, so we got this real dark section right here and what the smoothness does is it takes away a lot of the jittery of your hand if your hands not that steady and I am not a true traditional artist so I have yet to get the hand coordination to make nice smooth fluent movements with my hand so, let me use this area right here to make a bridge I don't know if it's going to be a good bridge or a bad bridge you know what actually if you double tap with two fingers you can undo I think right here I'm actually going to cut the colored portion of the petal and leave the shadow behind 
All right, mount to fill. You just click, drag over, and drop. That fills your image.